um, I loved her because when they first said to me, we'd like you, I said, oh, I can't do another maid. I said, this is going to be ridiculous. I'm oh, well, I'll take care of your racket, sir. And I'll hold your balls. <laughs> Lady. I don't like macaroni cheese. <laughs> and I don't like scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> what about the bread and butter pudding? When I stood next to him in church on Sunday, I could feel sanctity oozing out of him. <laughs> You're ever so sanctimonious, aren't you? <laughs> and he said, no, 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 this is a different thing. Um, you know, with that different wig, a different era, a different... I said, OK. I thought, I trust David and Jimmy, so let's just see what Ivy does. Very similar. She did a lot of bobbing. You know, down, you know, in respectful do, do, box. Do you think she was similar? I thought she was very different to Peggy. No, I know what you're saying, but in I'm glad you said that because she was um, more um, in a straight jacket than Peggy was, simply because of the confines of the part. Oh, thank the Lord for that. I thought that you and him was having a... Oh, don't be daft. <laughs> He's old enough to be my father. <laughs> he is my father. Excuse me, sir. I regret to inform you that Lady Lavender's parrot has passed on. Oh, dear. How did it happen, I did? It just went... <laughs> oh, oh. So sit quietly, put your hands on your lap and observe. Not me, girl, the statue. <laughs> because, you know, she was 1927. You were very sort of subservient if you were a maid. Yeah. So, uh, but she still had her characteristics, I guess, in a way. But really loved that. She, she was, in her own way, fabulous. Another one, always wanting to improve, but... You no, know, she had a dodgy dad, you see. Alf Stokes, I mean, she was never going to get anywhere to with a dad like that. But, you know, I, I love that as well. It was a marvellous, marvellous... All I want is for you to be happy. When you care for someone very much, that's the most important thing. Their happiness. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Oh, please don't cry, Ivy. <laughs> What's this? It's a mongoose. He keeps the snakes away. <laughs> but it's stuffed. The snakes don't know that. You never know, darling. David and Jimmy were very canny. If they felt that things weren't working out, you might get less. But if they felt that you were doing something, yeah. whatever carriage it was, then they might say, oh, OK, we'll capitalise on this and give this. So, you know, I suppose they went with the flow, dear. <laughs> Lovely lunch. There wasn't much left by the time I got there. Look, there's James and Miss Poppy. Are you jealous, Ivy? Of course I'm jealous. I wish I was tall. Well built, good looking, just like him. You're all right as you are, Henry. I wouldn't have you any different. Wouldn't you, Ivy? Thanks. Oh, Mr. Twelve Trees. You can tread all over my feet and I won't mind a bit. <laughs> Me, Ivy. I'm sorry to bother you at three o'clock in the morning, but I did have a lovely time. The bishop made a lot of money for the distressed gentlewomen, and everybody had a lovely time. And Mabel was only sick once. <laughs> and I had a dance with James, and it was wonderful. Oh, thank you for making him win the best-looking footman prize. I think you made the right choice. 
I've got to be up early, so I'd better go now. Good night. Check out all the tour dates on the website suepolardlive.com. See you there. Trot.